Hello, this is a deliberately quick, simple overview of the Slope Charts product. There are a couple of ways to get to Slope Charts on your browser. One is to go to slopeofhope.com and click on the Charts menu, or you can just go to slopecharts.com and it'll take you directly here. The first thing to show is this button right here, which expands to the full screen. It gives you a lot more room to work with. Let me just briefly show you the sections of the product. On the left side are watch lists, and these are customized to your account. You build them, you arrange them, and Slope Charts has far and away the easiest to manage, most flexible watch list of any product on or off the web. You can adjust the size of this pane. I'll just shrink it all the way to maximize how much chart we're looking at. Entering a symbol is really square one for anybody, and so you just punch it in and press enter. What you also should note is that it'll remember all the symbols so you can go backwards and forwards through them as you add them. Over here is the bar menu, which uh, dictates how much each bar represents. So as little as one minute per bar for an intraday chart or all the way up to yearly. So this is uh, all the years of Intel one by one going back in this case to 1980. You can see at the top there the data line. As we move from place to place, it'll show you the date, open, high, low, close. Uh, as well as the location you're at on the y-axis. Typically though, most people stay on the daily. Importantly, there are four separate menus here. and We've tried to organize these and group these in a sensible fashion. Now, I'm not gonna go through any of these here because these are in greatly detailed in the documentation under the uh, charts menu on Slope of Hope, but you can generally find what you're looking for under any of these menus. Over here, is the toolbar which is changed based upon what you've chosen down here but normally people use drawing tools so that's the default and we have here for example trendline channel uh, arc fibonacci tools and so forth and the rightmost is preferences and you click on that and up comes three different tabs of the various preferences you can set but generally speaking, the more you use slope charts, the more customized it becomes to your trading style and your trading preferences. And I encourage you to give it a try.